So let's say in your, your algebra class and you have to find the equation of a line when you are given two points. So how do we do that? Well, don't worry, I'm here to help you. I will give you guys the formulas that we need and I'll give you guys some examples right here. So check this out. First, let me give you guys a picture. So here we're just talking about when we're given two points. Let's say we have a point right here and we'll call this x1, y1 and we have another point here, we'll label this as x2, y2. And when we have these two points, we can just go ahead and connect them with a line. And the goal is to find an equation of this line. The first thing that we need is the slope. And the notation for that is m. Why m, huh? Yeah, not s, just m. Uh, the main reason, I think nobody knows. You can just think about m for mountain because you have to climb on the mountain, maybe. But anyway, though, m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. The formula is like this because when we do y2 minus y1, we are finding the vertical distance from this point to this point. So we are looking at this much right here. And then x2 minus x1, we are looking for the horizontal change right here. So we have a typical picture like this. And when you do this distance divided by that distance, we find the slope. And that will tell you how steep the line is. The next thing that we need is the so-called point slope form of the line. So point slope. And this right here, of course, means that we need a point and also the slope. Here, y minus y1, and that's equal to m times x minus x1. The x1, y1 is the point, and then the m is the slope, hmm? point slope form of a line. And when we write an equation of a line, we need to have the x and y. Right? Just that in the end, we'll end up with an expression with x and y. And in fact, they are really similar because if you multiply this to the other side, and if you just ignore the subscript right here for the two, right? just ignore that, then you see y2 minus y1 becomes y minus y1. And then we have the m times x, right? Because I said, ignore the subscript 2. So you get x and then minus x1. Yeah. And then lastly, we need a so-called slope-intercept form. And this right here is the famous one that you guys have seen in your algebra classes. OK, this is the y equals mx plus b. So m, and then we have the x plus b. M right here is the slope, no problem. So what exactly is the intercept though? B right here is the intercept. And more precisely, this B right here is the y-intercept. So whenever you have an equation in this form, you will be able to tell the slope and the y-intercept right away. So now, let me demonstrate some examples right here. I'll give you guys three examples. First one, let's just go ahead and do an equation of a line when we're given two points. Let's say the first point is 3 comma 5 and the other one is negative 1 comma 8. So how do we do it? Well first I will label this as x1 and this as x y1 and this right here I will label this as x2 and then y2. I put down the formulas in this order because when we do these questions we will go through this order as well. So this is the first thing. So here we go. We are going to find the slope m and this right here is equal to y2 minus y1. y2 is 8 minus y1 is 5 over x2 is negative 1 minus x1, right, is the 3. So that's the setup. And then let's see, on the top this is 3, on the bottom this is negative 1 minus 3, which is negative 4. Therefore the slope is negative 3 over 4. Notice how we have a negative on the bottom, but really you can put it at the front like this, or it may be even on the top, negative 3 over 4. These are the same. When we have a negative fraction, the negative can go on the bottom, at the front, or on the top. Yeah. Usually, this would that is preferred, especially for this. Right? So now we have the slope, then we'll be using this right here. So we will just go ahead and say y minus y1 which is 5, and then that's equal to the m, which I will just put this down right here, 
let's say negative 3 over 4, times x minus x1, which is the 3. Hmm? That's what we have. So we set it up with the point slope form, and finally, we need to isolate the y so we can get to the slope intercept form. And to do so, let's just go ahead and distribute this right here. So we have y minus 5, that's equal to, this is negative 3 over 4x. Negative times negative is positive. And then 3 over 4 times 3, this 3 is the same as, as 3 over 1. So 3 times 3 is 9, over 4 times 1 is 4. So that's what we have. At the end, this is y minus 5, so we will have to add 5 on both sides. This and that will cancel, and we will get y equals negative 3 over 4x. And let's see, 9 over 4 plus 5, which is the same as 5 over 1. We need the common denominator, so multiply by 4 and 4. So we get 9 over 4 plus 20 over 4. So on the top will be 9 plus 20, which is 29. And the bottom is 4. Ta da That's the answer. And especially if the question is asking for the slope intercept of the slope intercept form of the line, which most of the time they will. This right here will be it. So this is the first example. And then for the second example, we'll just go ahead and do the same thing. Right, but let's see, let's say we have a different set of points. Let's say we have let's say we have negative four comma five and the other one let's say we have negative 3 comma 5. You might see this one is a little bit weird, but that's it. So firstly, I will just label this as x1, y1, and secondly, this will be x2, y2. Again, let's go through the slope. And some of you guys might notice there's an easier way, but let's just go through all this again. So m is equal to y2, which is 5, minus y1 is also 5 over x2 is negative 3 minus x1 which is negative 4 like so I know I should be using the eraser okay so on the top this is 5 minus 5 which is 0 on the bottom negative 3 minus minus becomes plus so negative 3 plus 4 is actually 1 but when we have 0 over 1, the result is 0. So the slope right here is 0. Okay, next we'll just go ahead and use the point slope form. So we have y minus y1, which is this. And then that's equal to the slope m times x minus x1. So x minus x1 is negative 4. And that's what we have. But you see, 0 times this quantity is just equal to 0. So we have y minus 5, that's equal to 0. And then to solve for y, we will just add the 5 on both sides. So cancel, cancel, and we get y is equal to 5. Just like that. And you might notice that, hey, where's the x? There's no x. y is always equal to 5. This right here, in fact, what we are going to get is a horizontal line. Because if you look at negative 4, 5, Let's say negative 4 is here for the x, and let's say here is the 5. So we have a point here. And for the second point, we have negative 3. Let's say it's negative 3 here, and then 5. Well, as you can see, if you connect the dots, we do end up with a horizontal line. And the truth is, when we have a horizontal line, the slope right here is equal to 0. And the equation is just y equals a number. That number is this y value, 5. So just like that. So if you notice that the points, they actually will form a horizontal line, you could have just put down y is equal to 5 and box the answer, and that will be it. Yeah? OK, horizontal line is like this. And you might be thinking, the next one will give you guys a vertical line. Yeah, why not, huh? Vertical line. In fact, you will see that the slope is going to be weird. But let's just go ahead and do the question. Number three. Let's say we have 7, 2. And then the other one, let's do 7, negative 3. But let's just go ahead and do the slope. Here, 
x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay, slope first, m. This right here equals y2 minus y1, which is negative 3 minus 2, over x2 minus x1. It's 7 minus 7. On the top, negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5. On the bottom, 7 minus 7 is 0. Unlike earlier, this time, the 0 is on the bottom. Negative 5 divided by 0, we get undefined. This right here is an undefined slope. And now it looks like everything's ruined, but this is a rather special case. When the slope is undefined, let's just observe the points. So, 7, 2, let's say 7 is here, and then let's say 2 is here. Uh, that doesn't look like 2. Let's say 2 is right here, somewhere like this. And 7, negative 3, let's say negative 3 is down here. So we have a point here. So if we connect the dots, this time we are getting a vertical line. So if you do the slope formula, you notice that the slope is undefined. So let me just put that down. When we have a slope of any vertical line, it is undefined. But please do not say no slope because no slope, it, looks, it sounds like zero slope. So make sure you say either the slope is zero for horizontal line or the slope is undefined for vertical line. When the slope is undefined, okay, do not go through this process because it's not going to make sense. Like, what do I put here for the M, right? Doesn't make sense. All you have to do is just say X equals whatever this value is, which is seven, and then you are done. This will be the equation of this line when we have a vertical line, just like that. So this is also a special case. And I'm going to give you guys one more because I know like number two and number three, it's kind of like, hmm, this was an easier way. Let's practice one more with all these three steps. So yeah, a little bonus right here. Example number four. Let's see we have these two points. Let's say we have negative five comma two and the other one. Let's say we have negative three comma six. So let's go ahead and go through this. X1, Y1, X2, Y2. Slope first, M. That's equal to Y2 minus Y1, which is six minus two, over X2 minus X1, which is negative three minus negative five. Now work this out. On the top, six minus two is four. On the bottom, negative three plus 5, right, negative, negative, plus 5. So that will give us 2. Divide, 4 divided by 2, we get 2. So it's a hmm, more of a regular number now, right? So the slope is 2, and now we can just go ahead and use the point slope form. So we have y minus y1, which is this 2. That's equal to the slope, which is this 2, times, parentheses, x minus x1, which we have the negative 5. Now finally, we just have to isolate the y so we can get to the slope intercept form. So right here, let's go ahead and distribute. We have y minus 2, that's equal to 2 times 2, 2 times x is 2x. Negative times negative is positive, 2 times 5 is 10. And finally, just go ahead and add 2 on both sides because negative two plus two will be zero, that's what we want, and we get y equals two x plus 13, no, just kidding, 12. y equals two x plus 12, that would be the equation that goes through these two points. And of course, you can make a graph of it, but I will do a graph next time for another video. This is how you write an equation of a line when you are given two points. If you need more help, you can comment your questions down below or check out other videos over there. Hopefully this is 